Good evening, folks. I am here today with a data pack showcase. And this is what I just finished the first version of just last night. And basically, it is called Horse Trainer. And that's a created name there, yeah, but that's basically what it does. It helps you. Well, it doesn't help you, it, it includes your horses. It, it uh, includes horse based gameplay or not based gameplay. And it's not just horses, you know, I've got horses here, but. You've also got your zombie and skeleton horses, mules, donkeys, even pigs and llamas. Um, I did not include the trader llamas. But I did not think that would be. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know. Who uses llamas anyways? But they're, they're there. At least the ones that are not trader llamas. And you also have the striders here too. You can uh, you just plug in the striders or data pack. Sorry. So basically what happens is um, with this, this data pack, you get your horse and you just chain them up. Now when you're, on, when you're riding your horse, it's got a timer. And this timer can do quite a lot of things. This is what's called confidence. So the more you ride your horse, the more confident your horse becomes over time. And once you get a certain level of confidence, you actually improve your statistics. Um, um, <coughs> sorry, not your statistics. You, you improve your horse's, uh, what do you call them? Their spook um, level. And you also gain, you know, aesthetic uh, trails and uh, all sorts of things. You, you gain bonuses. So if I set the first one here, let's go back here. 200. Uh, this is your first sort of trail. Um, it means you, you spend 100 minutes riding this horse. You just get a simple trail like that. Um, secondly, I have to keep going because it's hard, hard to see if I don't, but 300 does this. You get an even larger trail and you get some bonuses as well. Let's see. I actually coded them in right here, so it's actually at 500 you get your first bonus, which is luck, which is a fairly vanilla sort of nothing uh, reward, but it's still a reward. So at 500 minutes on riding this horse, you get luck, but you also get this uh, fire trail. And then last but not least, as far as trails go, if you do 750. You get a soul fire trail. This means 750 minutes on your horse. That's a long time for a horse. But <clears throat> once you get to the thousands, you do get a few bonuses. Yes, I believe this is night vision. Let me just check this out. Time set night. Yes, you do get night vision at um, when you're riding your horse. Or about 11 seconds, 11, 12 seconds. And basically, yeah, it allows you to see it at night, but only when you're on your horse, or else it'll disappear. Um, last but not least, uh, as far as the abilities go, and this one may change, it is a little bit overpowered, but at 30 blocks away, you can start to see hostile mobs. So there's creatures on the ground you can see, for example. Um, I go around here. So it's just hostile mobs as quick as I go. <clears throat> and one of the reasons why you'd want to actually ride your horse and get it tanned up and confident is not just because of the abilities and the trails, but also if you run over let's do times that day again. Noon actually. If you run over, uh, let's say, a cactus or a fire or a magma, magma block, or if your horse gets damaged in your way, <laughs> you can get it kicked off. It can kind of kick you off, and it's panicking like that. That's what spooking is. Your horse spooked. Your horse spooked. Your horse spooked. 
And so I gotta feed it some sugar. Let's get some sugar here. You can do sugar, wheat, this is the vanilla though. That's just gonna how you heal your horses in vanilla. Is sugar or hay. That's not data pack, that's just vanilla. That just helps him heal up. But yes. Um the main draw of this data pack might be with um actually these books. And these are crafted on the floor and you get these manuals. So here you've got from one book, one golden apple, and ten sugar. On the floor it comes a steed training manual. So if I do this and I go on my horse, it comes come back uh you know, just over here. And I drop that on him. So it mounts now a little bit faster. Um you can include his uh, jumping ability by the acrobatics training manual, and I can keep him. There you go, yep. And then you get your honor, or war steed, or war steed training, sorry, right, war steed training manual. <laughs> if I can speak right. Your horse is now a bit tougher now. And last, you have manual of animal medicine. Did I take that or did I? What's in there? Okay. Good health. Now, as I said, you can create these using a uh, floor craft method. So, you drop one, oh, drop one golden apple, one book, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sugar. And you get your speed tuning manual. Like that. Now, um, I'm not gonna go through all these in the floor crafting because you get the idea. But um next I should tell you this all this information comes in this horse training guide, which you get when you load up the world with this for the first time. So if you're joining a server with this plugin or not it plug data pack. Um First time you join a server with this data pack on it, you'll get a book. Voice training guide. And that'll go over some of the same detail I'm showing here, but this is just a video. Did I? You wonder over here, you part. Okay. Um, yeah, so I do have a couple things um else to show you, of course. Uh if you want to see what a fully maxed out horse looks like. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but I will say it takes a lot of golden apples to get a maxed out horse. This is the, the max speed you can get. Max jump boost is only like 7 blocks. Uh, armor I think is set to 30, which is a little over player armor. Um, what else? Yeah. Oh, health is at 30 hearts, which is 60, so. And it's not too far above the normal range of the uh, default hearts for the max horses, so. And if you want to try to, uh, older max your horse, you can't because, you can see it just does this right here. If it gets near a book and it can't accept it, it'll do that. It'll submit book particles, which means it's a no-go. I think this guy can accept it, right? Okay. Yes, okay. Now, let's tell you what happens when you overstress your horse. So this is stress level 1000. This is a uh, fairly manageable stress. Um, yeah. I think I might have changed this. So yeah, if your horse is at stress level 1000, it's very manageable still, it's not going to be too big of an issue. Um, however, 3000 you'll start to notice some things. Now you need smoke particles, and yeah. It's kind of like a car when it starts to get stressed, it goes on fire. <laughs> um, it starts to get real slow, and it can't really. <clears throat> It's really hard to manage. It goes so slow and it's not going to work for you. Um, 
But again, it's pretty hard to get here. As long as you're careful. Just a little 5,000 is when things get kind of uh, risky. Um, if you... If the horse gets hurt... He's going to wander off and he's going to be... I tell him so he's going to be falling from the sky. He's got butter falling on, but he's he's going to be quite a ways away. And the reason I've done this is uh, it allows the horse's timer to tick down. So if your horse is really stressed, um, there's a little threshold. Uh, so if you ride him and he's under a thousand stress or he's around a thousand stress, he's going to tick down. But if you're over a thousand, you know, you just get off him for a bit, and then you're good. Um, but if he's over 3,000, let me just check this out real quick. Uh, let me pull the files. I'm sorry, one moment. Yes, temperament. So, again, if he's, if he's about a thousand or under a thousand, you can ride him and he'll go, go down easily. But at some point, he won't go down unless you're off him. And then, if you get so far that, again, you've got snow coming out of his eyes, or it's fire coming out of his eyes, you got to kind of get him some space. That's roughly eight to ten blocks. So, uh, again, it's pretty hard to get him stressed out in the first place that high. But the way you do it, uh, if you're really bad at managing, uh, and you get him hurt a lot, you know, he may get a lot of stress built up over time, and you have the chance of doing that if your horse spooks. Uh, it's about 50-50 chance you get about 250 st stress for uh, spooking. And again, as long as you're careful, that'll just take down over time. Uh, it just adds a little bit of um, management so you're not so stupid with it. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the Horse Trainer's Aid Pack. Thank you guys, and uh, yeah, take care.